my sister's twins so it has been one hell of crazy i look at things that i wish i can buy sometimes but i can i dare not i feel like these kids are so used to the way i'm raising them they couldn't fit into the new environment and i've started to feel so bad hey guys Welcome family and friends. Thank you for clicking. Oh. Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome back and thank you for clicking. Just so you will know what this video is all about. This video is all about my life, my personal life. So if you're interested, it's okay. You can stay watching. If you're not, click out. I'll see you in my next one. So guys, what really happened is my sister went back to Nigeria and I have been feeling guilty since the day she left. Almost a week now. By the time you see this video, it will be like a week plus since my sister left with the twins back to Nigeria. A quick background of that story in case you didn't know. I came with my sister. I brought my younger sister to Ghana who at that time was about four months pregnant so i brought her with me to ghana it's not like i didn't know my sister was pregnant i knew so i knew what to expect when i was bringing her with me when we were coming in my head i felt like okay before she will be put into bed i'll make her go back to nigeria to deliver there that is because i didn't know that having a child in ghana is super affordable so i thought it's as expensive as some of the things are here like especially in Accra so I didn't know that you can have a child in Ghana for very less even lesser than back home where I come from it would have cost us much more than I spent here if you have had them in my home state in Nigeria and then I don't know I picked courage until she gave birth here which i'm really grateful for you know i thought i'll be able to keep them here for till the babies return three months you know or at least two months but as a matter of fact i couldn't do it guys yes i could not do it not just because ghana is expensive right now no it has nothing to completely do on just Ghana being expensive. Even if I live in the world less expensive country right now, with the numbers of people in my house, I would have still taken that decision of asking my sister to go. So it has nothing entirely to do with, with just because I live in Ghana. No, even if it was to be back home, it would have been still something i would ask my sister to go since she left i came back i actually took her to nigeria okay don't get me wrong i took her to nigeria myself and i came back i did a couple of things i'm going to drop that vlog that i filmed in nigeria so that you all will see it so my sister is now in nigeria and i have been feeling guilty as a matter of fact i feel guilty because i feel like i don't know why i feel like this maybe because i know my family very well as an adult when i had my last when i had my wendy i was a full grown adult i know how difficult it was for me to take care of the baby not financially okay I mean physical care it was really crazy because I had to do this alone with no help nobody assisted me in fact the only person that came to assist me I mean like physical as a matter of fact she was the only one that helped me when I needed help before I had Wendy just a month before I had Wendy and then till the three weeks period after having her she left so she stayed with me for more than a month like she came when I was fully pregnant, like eight months when I couldn't help myself. She was the one that I invited over to come. Every other person I spoke with in my family, if they could come help me, even with the fact that I was going to sponsor that, nobody accepted. Everybody had one or two excuses to give. You know, it started to look like helping somebody in need, especially a family. You have to do it at convenience. You get it. So when I spoke to her, I pleaded with her to please come help me she came so when i say i'm feeling for my sister right now it's not because 
I feel like they won't give her food, no. But I feel like I am that person that could be there for her, especially now. But then again, I as if I feel her, I've been feeling so bad. But guys, the reason for this is because with the high inflation rates right now, if my sister had only a baby, one baby, I would not even have been bothered. Maybe she'll still be here or something. Because there are two. And we started to place them on milk because breast milk was no longer enough. And I'm thankful I made the decision of her starting to feed the twins with formula instead of just relying on breast milk, which was not producing enough for them. And they were crying a lot more. They were crying, they were looking pale, they were looking, they were not growing, they were not gaining much weight. They were not gaining weight at all because the breast milk was not enough. Immediately we introduced formula. They were now doing very well. They thrive very well. Looking at them, I was happy. I can see improvements. The other one that didn't take the immunization. You know, one of the babies at bed was on the wait for the VCG immunization injection. It took us a while to figure out why he wasn't gaining weight. But immediately we start introducing formula feeding. They started to gain weight, all of them picked up immediately and they, that other one that, had, that was on the weight met the weight and took the VGC injection before the left. What I'm saying is if it's one baby it would have been easier for me but two guys, two. So I made that decision to take her back because I can no longer go on. In case you don't know that my sister's boyfriend, the father of her kids actually supported me. When my sister gave birth, he sent money amounting equivalent to he sent money equivalent to one thousand cities. But if you live in Accra, you will know that one thousand cities is nothing. Do you understand? It's like it's not like it's nothing, but it's not. It don't give you that value of what it will give you outside Accra when you are not here. So that money went far. So just. To let you guys know that my brother-in-law, my I mean my baby, my nephew's dad actually supported. So it's not like he didn't support. I'm seeing comments sometimes, and these comments are new. They kind of um somebody just leaving those hard comments where the heck is their father? Where the heck I have not complained about my sister's boyfriend because he has never any day denied my sister, he has never not been there. The only thing he doesn't have is money and even if he does have money it is my responsibility if i want to help care for my sister it is nothing it is not because he's not there i didn't bring my sister to ghana because her boyfriend rejected her no it's not that case it is a case of me feeling that she needed the care she needed the love she needed someone to be there for her in that time that time so ever since i took her back i have been feeling guilty when i'm sleeping in the night i wake up in the middle of the night and i start to feel bad aside the fact that i miss my sister i feel i feel like maybe i'm not i didn't do the right thing you get it especially sometimes when i speak to acquaintance like oh okay my sister is going and somebody will be like why what happened why why what happened and i start to look like hey this is, I mean, I mean, hello, I don't understand. How do you mean what happened? My going back home, you're asking me what happened. I don't understand, like, what happened as in how? How do you mean what happened? So, guys, it has been crazy. That makes me to even feel more guilty. Like, maybe sending her home is not a good idea. You know, a lot of people don't know that the kids have said, taking formula and that is expensive with the way businesses are run in ghana i cannot cope because when you buy milk today and these babies consume you know, one tin of formula the babies consumes it like three days they finish it so it means that every three three days i need to buy more milk like new more formula more diapers you know how it is with newborn babies so i felt like okay i have not been able to save even a pest waste i have not even one person is right now, I've not been able to save. And I have Antonia, my niece, that has always been living with me, like back home in Nigeria and here in Ghana now. She's here with me. And I she have her education has been my responsibility. Yeah. 
and then my own kids the other one wendy has not started school i have not made provision for their school whatsoever i have not saved a persuas that we used to pay school fees for them and paid renewed i mean pay school fees for praise i have not saved anything and if i continue like this because all my money is go straight into feeding imagine me feeding four people plus three babies that is my little girl and my sister's twins so it has been one hell of crazy it is not easy i look at things that i wish i can buy sometimes but i can i dare not i dare not do these things because i have too many people to feed at home so ever since i i, I took my sister back to nigeria I came back I, I feel so bad so you guys if there's anything you can do for me say it down there maybe i didn't do the right thing i acted selfishly or it is normal i don't know but i thought that is the best decision so i can cut down the cost of food in the house and then maybe be able to start saving towards school fees for all the three children what do you think so but my sister took it in very good faith she told me you have tried i know what she prayed for me when she was leaving my sister prayed for me she told me things that i never knew she have she can say she my sister literally appreciated everything i have done for her and that made me to even feel more guilty like i felt like these children should just stay with me here let me take care of them until they grow up and maybe become mine forever <laughs> So guys, they left, okay? I took them back and um, I feel guilty. You know, the first day we got to Lagos and in the night <laughs> when there was no electricity and there was no fan and the place we put up didn't have enough ventilation and these babies were struggling. They stayed awake the whole night like i struggled to put them back to sleep my sister and i so i started to feel bad in my house here i open if there's if which they have never been there have never been a time there's no light but i opened the window because you know i feel like these kids are so used to the way i'm raising them they couldn't fit into the new environment and i started to feel so bad but the good thing is they are not stopping there they are going home to my village also born and breath where their mother was born breath so they will be fine in my village so my sister is at home now with the kids and i i hope she'll be able to take care of them for me because uh, these babies mm, i've become so attached to them my god i have loved them just like mine i don't know please i don't want to have another baby okay especially now but then i love these babies so just so that you know because i i opened that to you so now that that chapter of my life has been closed i felt it is only fair that i let you guys know all right so thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye